All right, getting ready for Windrock. And lo and behold, I'm going to have to replace the trailer axle. Here's why. Now, how well that's going to come through on camera. This side here, you can see it's got a really weird wear pattern. And I bought this trailer used. And this spindle here is actually bent out this way and up. And as you can see, that uh, those bolts aren't coming out. We want to cut the U-bolts uh, out. Get this axle out and hopefully get another one and get it replaced. back down at the shop today uh, actually it's the evening um, I picked up an axle and it took about four days for it to get to me um, I basically I bought a whole new axle new springs um, and I'm gonna make a slight improvement uh, this is a wet bolt kit uh, so this is the same bolt that we had trouble getting out and one thing I wanted to mention on a trailer um, on the bolt head side usually they have these uh, serrations that get pulled in um, <clears throat> what I had to do is I put a nut on this side, bead on this side, and actually took the air ratchet and kind of did a forward and reverse thing to try to work this loose. They were in bad shape. But anyway, I've got these. These are brand new. Um, it's a little dark outside. I'll try to video as much as I can. Uh, but mainly this video is just to kind of show you how the process goes. You determine that your axle is bent, which mine, I had about a four degree bend. Um, on the passenger side uh, right at the spindle uh, again that trailer's used it probably has been bent the whole time I had a really uneven tire wear that's usually a good indicator um, <clears throat> and the best way to get those axles off especially if they're rusty take that that cutter uh, I used to die, die grinder with a, a metal cutting blade uh, and just cut those u-bolts out and just buy all new stuff um, because I was fairly certain the springs have been overloaded I went ahead and got springs um, these springs actually have a little rubber bush and I've already got one side on I don't know that you'll be able to see much tonight uh, in whatever video I end up shooting um, and I may completely finish this up tomorrow but I'm going to at least get enough of it on there I've laid the axles out on the ground and verified that the hub face and that's from the hub face to hub face is the same which it is and the spring centers are, are dead on my particular trailer um, it's six foot wide standard six foot wide trailer uh i mine is a 89 hub face 74 inch spring center um dexter uh rockwell and so, several other people make those uh, one thing i wanted to mention uh the closest thing to me that had axles was tractor supply uh they they, they sell i think a carry-on axle that carry-on axle is almost exactly either a half inch or one inch off depending on which measurement you're looking at uh, so that wouldn't work for me that's why I had to wait I had to order one and wait uh, they were able to ship at FedEx um, so it's not a huge deal to get one um, and re you're really four days isn't that bad uh, of a wait I ordered it kind of at the start of the week and got it today which is on Thursday um, and I want to try to get as much of it done tonight I know that's not gonna be great for video uh, but it's going to be a little bit better with my schedule. I've got uh, some siding that I need to get up uh, tomorrow, and uh, you know the the weather's been terrible. It's I think it was around 15 degrees this morning, uh, but it's supposed to be in the 50s this week or this weekend. So I'm going to try to knock out as much as that as I can, 
and do this work that I can do in the cold uh, this evening. Um, so you basically get the gist. Cut that axle out. Um, it's a lot quicker, a lot faster than taking out all these U-bolt joints or U-bolts. Um, the new U-bolt kit uh, comes with a new plate. Uh, so basically, the kit that I bought is from the springs down. It's pretty much everything new. New spindles, new axle. Uh, the springs are new, the plate is new, and the U-bolts are new. I bought these separately. Um, this is what actually attaches all that to the uh, trailer tabs. I'm not replacing the tabs. They look fine. Um, but I'm going to run out, and uh, I'll try to put links on all the stuff that I got, or at least give you some idea where to get some of the stuff. Um, luckily, I ordered this the same day, and it actually it, it got here right as I was leaving uh, to come to the house. So luckily, I got this, and I'm going to try to knock it out tonight. Okay, it's pretty dark. It's probably not going to make a great video, but I'm going to do the best I can. Um, I've got the axles laid out here on the ground. I'll kind of move the camera here where you can maybe get an idea. Axles are laid out on the ground. The old one is the rusty one. The new one is there. It came with the spindles attached. Um, I'm basically going to uh, just air ratchet lightly the uh, first bolts in. And get the axle up on the spring. And then that way when I get done I can just jack up the uh, entire axle and put the last set of bolts in. <coughs> So I got the axle set. Um, this is an overslung axle, which means it goes on top of the leaf springs. Uh, you always want to look for that arch. You know, it should be arched upwards. And then the plate goes on the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to pull apart the U-bolt kit and get that on. I don't know. I don't know if that's useful videoing or not. I probably won't be uh, um, because it's so dark. Uh, at this point, it's pretty much audio. Um, but basically, this is... The easiest way that I can see to do this, attach the spring at the front, get all that, get everything attached loosely, and then I'll actually kind of cantilever that up you know, onto, the, onto the trailer and get my other, there's actually four bolts, two on each side, because you have a small shackle piece. Uh, the shackle piece goes on the rear. All right, it's, it's basically dark at this point. But, you know, as things in life, still gotta, still gotta work in the dark and the cold sometimes. So I'm gonna grab the airline. I've got the axle uh, kind of loosely fitted. You can see the U-bolts uh, and the plate are on. Um, I'm gonna install the other side real quick and come back around and start tightening things up. don't have all the bolts in but I've got that one started and uh, the axles in the right place and uh, I'm gonna go to the other side and get it lifted up and then we'll do final tight down all right last couple of bolts and uh, we'll have this axle in and I'll be able to put the tires on Okay, it's trying to stop me from putting this axle in. If you didn't catch that on the video, the airline was so cold, um, it just snapped. It's uh, just a nylon hose. Uh, it's probably in the 20s out here. Uh, really, really cold, and it just it just snapped. Uh, anyway, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. I don't feel like dragging out another airline. We'll use the good old trusty ratchet. I don't know how well that's going to come through on video. But we'll use some shiny chrome to get get the job done. And you want to try to keep these really equal. Um, 
as equal as you can. You don't want this to skew the spring or the plate. Um, so I'm kind of just eyeballing these and making sure I'm keeping them as uh, even as possible. That ought to do the job. Uh, I want to drive this around a little bit and get it get it over some bumps and recheck everything tomorrow. Uh, but that's bolted up. I'm gonna finish tightening these up by hand. Um, All right, we're getting there. It's probably some really foggy uh, video. It's really cold out here. Anyway, I want to put this uh, bad tire back on. It doesn't have any holes in it, uh, but it's wore something awful. Uh, I mean it. It's the weirdest pattern I've ever seen. It's basically only been riding on this side of the tire. I'm gonna get this back on uh, just to make sure everything fits. Uh, and then I'll run this to the uh, tire shop or either pull this tire back off. I just wanna kinda get a look at it here and uh, close this video out. Uh, but it's all installed. It worked out really well. Uh, everything's new that was old and wore out. And uh, pretty happy with it. I'm gonna get this tire back on real quick. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much the end of this video. There we go. New axle. Uh, still need to take care of the tires. Put fresh tires on. Uh, but I think I should have this ready. Uh, we're planning on going to Windrock. Not taking the toy hauler. Uh, and I've got to have this trailer working. Otherwise, I have to carry the razor in the dump trailer, which I really don't want to do. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, really sucks about the airline. I'll need to get another one of those. Uh, tomorrow uh, anyway thanks we'll see you on the next one